gnarly. All right, just gonna do a super quick walkthrough of the Bauer Racing Extreme Enduro Cross section. So actually, we're gonna be coming from right through here. You're gonna make a hard right up over the tires, or if you need the bypass, you're gonna keep going. But this is the way I'll go, so I'm gonna have to take a really wide turn. So real quick, gonna come up over these tires. Um, tires look pretty intimidating, but they're actually fairly easy. And then we got this little chopped wood, little squared in thingamajig, which shouldn't be too bad today because it's not wet. Usually the hair scramble, the first race of the year, it's wet and that can get sketchy. These two, these are super slippery when it's wet, but oh, I'm out of breath. But like I said, shouldn't be a big deal today. Everything is dry. And yeah, you just cross these tires. There's uh, up ahead, there's one more little section of some kind of like tough well no those are railroad looking ties and then you're out of it so hey can you guys see me can you hear me welcome to the battle creek motorcycle club enduro cross section so today we are at the battle creek motorcycle club and today is going to be the season finale of the michigan sprint enduros here at the battle creek motorcycle club uh, sorry, I'm a little out of breath, but uh, I've gotten a lot of new subscribers and people asking about races, so I thought I would take a minute to explain what a sprint enduro is, enduro is for those of you that might not know. So a sprint enduro is basically a race against the clock. Um, today we're going to have two tests. We're going to have an enduro test, which is going to be a course that's all through the woods and only the woods and then the next test will be a cross test and the cross test is kind of how it sounds it's a cross between multiple disciplines so um, as you can see and behind the camera too i'm standing in part of the enduro cross section that battle creek has which by the way is one of the best uh enduro cross sections in all of our races so but the cross test is going to be a mix between this section uh probably most of the track which their track is phenomenal here too and usually for the races for like the hair the woods style races it's it's uh pretty mellow for people like me that don't race track or don't ride on track so it'll be a little bit of woods most of the track in this whole section, which like I said, the section, the Sendero cross section goes behind the camera too. We're gonna run each of those tests four times a piece. And the, the racer with the lowest accumulative time is gonna win. But that'll also be broken up in between classes and age groups too. So it's not like you're just gonna be thrown in there with the best of the best. So first you're gonna have the A, and double or the double a guys slash pro and then you're going to have skill levels a b and c and correct me in the comments if i'm wrong but i believe like when you get to a if you're 29 years or younger you'll be open a then a30 then a40 then a50 exact same thing with uh, b and c uh, open B, B30, B40, B50. I ride B40, so at least I get to go against guys my own age and my own skill level. So that's my quick version of what a uh, sprint enduro is. And I did see online that uh, Michigan Sprint Enduros posted that each course is four miles long. So that's perfect for a sprint. So yeah, now I'll just try to get the best kind of footage I can for you guys. Um, when it comes to the track and the enduro cross, I'm really slow, but I'm going to go through it. So, um, yeah, I definitely think if you're new to racing, you should try everything. You should try a couple hair scrambles, a couple sprint enduros, a couple enduros, and just see which ones you guys like best and then uh, go from there. Uh, I know a lot of the guys that race with us here in Michigan, they do them all. Just depends on if they they have an open weekend or not. They'll race whatever race is available. So anyways, all right, guys, I'll see you up. All 
All right, Adam and I are lining up to do the inter enduro test, so you can actually go two at a time if you choose. So we were riding together today. Um, it worked out really good. Uh, so in the beginning of the video, I had misspoken a little bit, and because this is only the second sprint enduro I've done all year, so in the beginning, you know, I said we're gonna do each test four times a piece, yada yada yada. That was right, but what I misspoke on is this test is the enduro test, and this was the one that actually had the enduro cross section in it. So I kind of misspoke in the beginning saying that uh, the cross test had this and the enduro test had this, but this is the enduro test, and this is the one that had the uh, enduro cross section in it. And then the cross test is the one that had a little bit of woods in it and then the whole motocross track. So not a huge deal. Um, just kind of explained it a little bit backwards from what I remember. Like I said, this is the only uh, this is only the second sprint enduro I've done all year. So uh, yeah, anyways, I try not to talk too much on this video. What a phenomenal layout. These guys really put on a good show, man. Um, the woods, for the most part, there was a few dusty spots because we have not had rain lately here in Michigan, but, like, like you can see dust right here, but deep in the woods, man, the soil was primo. And uh, I felt pretty good all day. Um, you know, the first two tests, I'm a really slow starter, and that's what you're watching now is... Uh, the first, well, this is the enduro test, and then I did the cross test. Later on in the day, I warmed up and did pretty good, but I can't shake that eighth place bug, I guess you will. The last three races in a row, uh, I finished eighth place. Look at I stall it right here. But um, I still, I felt really good on the bike. Uh, I made a couple huge mistakes, um, one on each course. But uh, other than that, I rode pretty clean and I was happy outside of those few mistakes. So anyways, uh, yeah, Battle Creek Motorcycle Club for the season finale of the Michigan Sprint Enduros. There was 217 riders and it was a lot of fun. I, I just, I had a lot of fun. Um, it was extremely hot today. It was 89 degrees, so... Uh, it was a good day to run a sprint enduro because I, I like being able to go back to the truck and, and, you know, top off on your hydration and everything. It just helps being able to take a little bit of a rest versus a hair scramble where it's non-stop. So, anyways, uh, this video is somewhat long, not as long as the hair scrambles, but uh, I'll try to label this. This is the enduro test, and then after that, I do the cross test, which is some of the woods and high speed sections, and then it gets on to the motocross track too. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you're still here, and yeah, that's it for the sprint enduros this year. So we have two more hair scrambles, and uh, after that, it's a wrap. So let me know if you race here, leave a comment, talk some shit, whatever you got to do down there in the comments. I'll see you next time.
Good luck, man.
dusty through here. 